because she lives with two big dogs. And she thinks she's a puppy. I swear, if she barks, I am going to make a million dollars. <laughs> so. Nah, cats do whatever they want. That's true. Except my cat is pretty much saying, I'll do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do a morning show. I'll talk about Baron Age. This is a, this is a good book. I, I, you know, I'll say it again, their name. Brain Cloud Comics. So, check them out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Their website, www.braincloudcomics.com. It's a brilliant, brilliant comic. And the Weatherman comic's really good, too, so... It's about a guy who... Has a... Breakdown. I'll see what other books are working on. On my trusty computer. What time will it be in the morning show? I'll probably do it where I am now, 7 a.m. I I think I'll do it then. Because I get up early. I used to sleep in, but now I get up. (laughs) Which I don't mind getting up, because I had to get up at 4 (laughs) a.m. And I know it, because my cat just attacked my head like... Like a crazy nut. Uh, they did, Brain Cloud Comics recently did Blood on the Tracks, Blood on, from volume, Blood on the Tracks 1, 2, 3, Weatherman, which I, re- I really enjoyed Weatherman. It's about Dr. Lewis Hamilton is the director of the National Weather Management and Strategic Analyst Task Force. Unfortunately, known as, officially known as the Weatherman. He looks to he looks he's looking for a few good scientists to join his team and head out to MIT recruiting trip. It's a very good comic. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see, April fifth to the seventh. Oh, they did that one. They did the Wizard World. Which, by the way, I never went to. I know they had, like, Jason Momoa, and he didn't, like, do, he didn't show up. He had to, like, cancel it, because I don't know what the hell he was doing. Oh, wait a minute. St. Louis County Library does comic books? Damn. I gotta go there one day. Uh, let's see. September... 14th and 15th, they will be at the Small Press Expo 2019 in Bethesda, Maryland. So, they won't be in St. Louis for a while, so they'll be out there. So. So. Uh, so, check out their comics. They... They have a cool David Bowie cover one. They did the, um... They, they have, like, one where it's, like, a dude dressed as, wearing a bush mask. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. It's a cool cover. I really want to read this one, Blood on the Tracks. That looks like a good book. They also have Kickstarter, so yeah, you can check out their... The Ideal, that's a good one. It ain't easy being Superman. The Ideal is one of the world's greatest superheroes, but nobody knows where he came from, or what he wants, or what his plans are until now. Featuring the or- origin of the ideal in many Avengers, the ideal is the hero we need, whether he wants to be, the, whether he want or deserves him, or not. 
so. Anyway, uh, got to wrap up the show soon. Got to check the weather because the storm is looking pretty good. I just don't want, <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want a tornado or anything, so. Kind of be weird though, but, it's, you know. Well, you do the haunted prison one in Missouri that you talked about. Um, yeah, I'll do that in the morning show. I'll talk about it. Yeah, we understand. Uh, yeah, I'll talk about the haunted prison one in the morning show. Uh, yeah, I just I think it's pretty cool. There's also videos of it, which um, I remember it was on like Ghost Adventures. Because the prison was also where they did executions and stuff, which was pretty crazy. Uh, which Missouri still does executions, but, you know, they don't, like, put it in there immediately. But they just do a trial thing. It's pretty messed up um, when it comes to executions because, you don't know, a person was innocent. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll do that. I'll talk about that. I'm going to do review of Baron Age, which is a brilliant comic. I can't I can't stop talking about it. It's a good comic book. I love mature themed stories. I, you know, I know now they try to do it and make it edgy, but this one's a very historically mature, not filtered, you know, type story. So, uh I am Josh this is the podcast, and time for the final thought. When it comes to ghosts and stuff, there's always history, and sometimes history doesn't go so great. Uh, we always bring up history that we should erase it, but history is made so we don't repeat it. You look at most recently the talks recently about wanting to do away with Mount Rushmore, getting rid of the founding fathers and some of the great historians, such as Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln. But the founding fathers did a lot of things. Were they perfect? No. In this world, we're not perfect. We're just human. Some great leaders come to inspire. Some create tyranny and divide. But here's the thing. As people, we shouldn't be divided. We shouldn't fight amongst each other. Sometimes puppet masters create things to divide and conquer. The human mind and will is created for people to overcome tyranny, overcome control, overcome the so-called masters. Here's the thing. When it comes to life and being a human being, never bow to the crown of people who call themselves royalty because they're not. People create titles to call them things, call themselves things. But the truth is, they're just insecure. They just want power. Sometimes power is too much for the mind and the person. So, never give up, never surrender to others. Be yourself, be who you are in life. So, that's true. Thank you. Here's the thing, when people create power, when they have too much power, you have to sometimes take it away. But never take control of power, because power corrupts. Power feeds the ego trip, and sometimes people who think they know everything truly don't. That's why laws and orders are made. So, remember one thing. 
Never repeat history. Never be the person to erase the history. Because you are the one who is repeating it. Censorship, free speech, are created for people to be outspoken against the leaders who are trying to rule. Never be a sheep being led by the shepherd who is the wolf. Be rebellious at times. When it needs to be. Not all the time. But love God. Don't ever be rebellious all the time. Because sometimes you become the bad guy. So. Always be yourself. Never be a follower or a sheep. Be your own identity. So. That's the podcast. So. I'll see you all in the morning show. I'm going to be talking about Baron Age and the Haunted Prison. And one more thing. To the actress known as Sue Ling. If you're listening, I hope you're alright. I hope you're happy in life. And please shoot a message at the Josh of Gotham Instagram or the Twitter page. At the one Bugs Bunny. Underline, by the way. So, hopefully you're alright. Hopefully you're happy where you are in life. And it's raining and it's a thunderstorm, so mind that. Just, you know, just let us all know you're good. See y'all in the morning show. I guess it'll be the uh, wake up hour with Josh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not making breakfast, so I'm not making y'all breakfast or anything, so see y'all next in the morning. Well, I'll say, I was going to say next episode, but I'll see y'all Saturday morning. Ciao.